Hey there teachers, this is Dr. Erin Margarella, and I'm here to teach you about another technology tool that you need to have in your classroom. Today I'm teaching you about Notebook LM, and this is a brand new tool. It is completely free and it is necessary for all teachers right now. Let's take a look. All right, if you Google this Notebook LM, it'll come right up. We're gonna click on Try Notebook LM, and we're gonna open a brand new notebook. Okay, what makes this difference? We're gonna make this fast and furious. Think of it as ChatGPT, but ChatGPT searches the entire internet. We don't want that. We wanna focus on just the sources that we wanna provide our students. They can come from our Google Drive. They can come from a website. They can from, come from a pasted link, or they can come from a PDF that we upload. So for me, I'm gonna upload three chapters here really quickly that I'm reading. These are coming from the text Textbook from the class that I am teaching right now. We'll see how fast this goes. Comes up fast and furious. From here, we can create an FAQ, a study guide, table of contents, timeline, briefing document, summary. This is all great. We can also prompt it further. This is just like ChatGPT. We know this. What makes this different is the deep dive conversation. Okay, so we're gonna click generate. And what is a deep dive conversation? Well, let me tell you, it is a podcast. And not just a regular podcast, an extremely professional podcast that has two different speakers that banter, that discuss, that give examples, and that make your content exciting and meaningful for students. All right, so let's take a listen. You're not so smart, chapters one, three, and four that I uploaded just a second ago. Let's just listen to, let's listen to this podcast. Are you ready for this? You're gonna love it. Welcome to our deep dive today. We're gonna be jumping into you're not so smart and talking about some cognitive biases. Supposed to be fascinating stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be looking at chapters one, three, and four today. You sent over some excerpts yeah. about priming, confirmation bias, and hindsight bias. So let's just jump right into it. Sounds good. I thought it was really Did interesting. Notice the okay. two people um, talking. Chapter this two sounds had the study about real. hand washing. Oh yeah, yeah. And they were asking people to recall a past unethical act, uh -huh. and then um, some of them they gave the opportunity to wash their hands, okay. and some of them they didn't. And and what they found is that the people who washed their hands were less likely to then help a graduate student who needed help. Yeah. Like they, they had this sort of moral cleansing. So they're less, they feel less of a need to kind of morally cleanse again. Yeah. So it's like by physically washing your hands, your brain is making that connection with moral purity. Yeah. It's really strange. You know, we think that we're these rational. So think of this as an opportunity to help our students who struggle with reading, who struggle with study skills, who just need extra exposure to the text in a more comprehensive, more engaging way. This is the future. Notebook LM. It's free. Try it today. You're going to love it.